Alrighty, Minor League Baseball fans, welcome back to Minor League Baseball, the show. Tonight is our first game of this four-game set between the visiting Frisco Rough Riders and your San Antonio Missions. Well, tonight we are getting ready for another awesome day of baseball, and likewise, guys, we are getting ready to have the next eight game series at home. The two teams continue the series tomorrow night as we get ready for the second game of this four game set. And most likely we are gonna be good for there. Well, it's about time to get out your scorecards as we got the starting lineups for tonight's game. Clear skies, and we are good to go. Well, let's get to it. Here's your starting lineups first for the visiting Frisco Rough Riders. Lean off and playing in third, Garrett Anderson. Anderson at third. Joey Fizzler will be the center fielder, bat second for the Rough Rider lineup. Fizzler at center. Jose Chavez will be the catcher for the Frisco Rough Riders. Chavez catching. Richie Norris will be the first baseman, batting fourth for the Rough Riders. Norris at first. Robbie Molire will be the left fielder. He'll be batting fifth for Frisco. Mohire at left. Thad Mayer will be the right fielder. He's bat six for Frisco. Meyer once again for the right for Frisco. Paul Luminix will be the designated hitter. Luminix, the DH. Jermaine Story will be the second baseman. He'll bat eighth for Frisco. Story and second. Batting ninth is Ray Schultz. He rounds out the batting order for the Frisco Rough Riders. Schultz as short. Anderson, Feisler, Chavez will be your first lead on three. Norris, Mohire, and Mayer will be your middle three. Limix, Story, and Schultz round out the batting order for the Frisco Rough Riders tonight. And on the mound for your Rough Riders is Roger Morales. Morales, tonight's Rough Riders pitcher. And now here's the starting lineup for the San Antonio Missions. Lean off and playing in second, Enrique Encarcion. Encarcion, a second. Batting second is the right fielder, Roger Durango. Durango, a right. William Venner will be the first baseman. He'll bat third for San Antonio. Venner, at first. Kevin Alvarez will be the designated hitter. Alvarez, batting fourth for San Antonio. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Henry Carnuth. Carnuth, at third. Center fielder, Adrian Parado will be batting sixth. For San Antonio. Prado at center. Booker Bernstein will be the left fielder. He'll bat seventh for the mission lineup. Bernstein at left. Shortstop Tristan Tierney will be batting eighth for San Antonio. Tierney is short. Neil Nizumski will round out the batting order for San Antonio. Samuski catching. Encarcion, Durango, Venner will be your first lead on three. Alvarez, Carnuth, Parado will be your middle three. Bernstein, Tierney, and Simuski round out the batting order for San Antonio. And on the mound for San Antonio, Kevin Alvarez. Alvarez, today's designated hitter and pitcher.
minor league baseball now on the show as our road trip makes a stop in the double-A Texas League. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Frisco Rough Riders and the San Antonio Missions. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Kevin Alvarez, a right-hander from Illinois, will be the starter here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Stepping up now, Garrett Anderson, and we are set for baseball they here this evening. Right. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Anderson. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? And Carnacion over to his left. And that's the first out of the inning. And with that, here's a look at the visitors' starting lineup. What do we need to know about these guys for this evening's matchup on the road, Dero? Well, Matty, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods. Just young guys, hungry, aggressive, trying to do damage and move traffic to both gaps. Line to line power up and down this lineup. Should be interesting to see if this pitcher uses their aggressiveness against them. Digging in the switch hitter, Joey Fizzler, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Game time temperature tonight, a comfortable 66 degrees at first pitch. Zero. Swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. And he missed with it. It's 1-2. and two. I think if he executes that pitch on the corner instead of off of it, he probably gets some pretty weak contact, if anything. He jammed him pretty hard on the previous pitch, so my bet was he was going to try to cheat on the inside part, thinking it might be coming again. Fastball. Hey. Strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Coming to the plate now, Jose Chavez. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Lays off 1-0. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball, 1-1. One one. Fouled off. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Roger Morales, the right-hander out of Puerto Rico, will be the starter. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard, soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. At the plate, Enrique Encarnacion. they lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Enrique Encarnacion. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a hit. So here in the first inning, the leadoff man's aboard to kick things off. Hey, this game's starting off exactly the way they wanted to. Lead off single in the bottom of the first. After their pitcher went out there and threw a donut on the board, boys are flying around. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a liner. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. And he just blasts this thing down the left field line. I thought it might bend foul, but it lands just inside the chalk, and he's able to leg it out for a double. Good-looking swing. Stepping in now, William Venner. High in the air out to center field. Fizzler has a beat on it. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third, as this should get him on the board. And he is in there. Great work to do a job right there. He's not a big power bat, so he was looking to get a fly ball to the outfield and give his guy a third a chance. Mm -hmm. 
Next will be the cleanup hitter, Kevin Alvarez. He's looking to make this a 2-0 game if he can perhaps get a ball airborne here. First pitch on its way. A bouncer to the left side. Only play is going to be a first, so score it as an RBI ground out as the lead moves to 2 to nothing now. That grounder was hard hit, and sometimes the runner at third will have to hold on a ball like that, but he was off on contact, and they opted to take the out at first instead. Standing in now, Henry Carnuth. He swings and grounds it to short. Played on the backhand. Throw not in time as he's able to leg it out. And yeah, that's great hustle right there out of the box. Not everybody's getting it right out of the shoe from step one. But I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D. Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Back up. To, oh, no, that got him. Recovery throw is not in time, and that will go down as a painful single. So stepping in, Booker Bernstein, and we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit in the air to center field. Fizzler has a beat on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. One inning in the books here. San Antonio's out in front, two to nothing. Leading off the inning, Richie Norris, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Encarnacion is there. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Time for a look at the defensive alignment for the home team. And one of the main backbones for them out on the field today is the guy behind the dish. He controls the entire flow of the game, manipulates a pitching staff, gets them through the game, and not only that, completely shuts down a running game. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah, nothing better, huh, guys? I guess maybe the crack of the bat, but I'm not as partial to that as most people. He looks good and loose out there to start this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. This is skied into short left center. Bernstein over to his left, and that's the third out. So coming to the plate, Tristan Tierney. He'll get to take his first cuts here. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. A one count. Here's the pitch. On the ground to third. Anderson has it. And there's one down now. Okay, here's a defense for the away team. You want to talk about shutting a running game down? The guy behind the dish has an absolute cannon. I mean, you will not see guys get but two-step lead off first base today. So digging in now, Neil Zeminski. First offering on its way. Hit on the ground is short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now batting, second baseman, Enrique. Stepping into the box, Enrique Encarnacion. He reached on a single in his first try. First pitch coming. Here it is. Line to the right side. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Uh 
I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Into the box, Roger Durango towards second. But this is hauled in by the second baseman. The batter. So striding in, William Venner. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard to short. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. So it's no runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We've played two full. The missions lead it two to nothing. Next will be the designated hitter, Paul Lemieux. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Ball one. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Popped him up. Venner moving to his left, one away. Second Now with the plate, Jermaine Story. First pitch of the at bat. Hey. Tough one to lay off, called a strike. We're seeing him in an absolute groove out there in the mound right now. Retired seven straight, and mechanically, he looks really consistent and fluid to me. Hey. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0 and 2. On the ground to the right side. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. A flip from short right gets him, and there are two away. Ray Schultz. Now to the plate, Ray Schultz. And they go right after him on the inside corner for strike one. Hey, that's just a great pitch right there. Fastball at the bottom of the zone right under the knee. It's interesting. I was a low ball hitter, so you could take the strike zone and go to the ground with it. I can live with that being called a strike. What I can't live with is above the belt getting popped. Here's the 0 1. Behind 0 2 now. He wasn't fooling anybody with that fastball. He barreled it up nice right there. He's just got to find a way to keep it fair. Hit out towards second. Encarnacion takes it in. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Make it nine straight here to start the ball game. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. San Antonio's out in front, two to nothing. Ready for another chance, Kevin Alvarez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Kevin Alvarez. First pitch on its way. Line drive to center field, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So an inning opening single kicks off their half of the third. Lead-off single to start the third right now. And from an offensive standpoint, keep the aggressive at-bats happening. Keep the pressure on the defense. Everything's looking good right now. In now, Henry Carnu. He swings and sends it in the air out to left center. Moving under it, Fizzler. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Digging in to try it again. Adrian Prado as the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. He's set and the pitch. High and deep to right. Meyer racing back. Still going back. Two run blast to straight away right field as they move on top four to nothing.
This is the first home run of the game, but the bats are definitely alive for both teams tonight. There have been a ton of hits already. These pitchers might want to duck and cover if things continue this way. Stepping in now, Booker Bernstein, as he rips it on the ground to second. Scoring over to his left, and that's the second out. Now batting, shortstop, Tristan Tierney. Bigging in for his second at bat, Tristan Tierney. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's the first pitch to him. High in the air out to center field. Fizzler on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. We played three full. It's now a four-nothing ball game. Riding in once again, Garrett Anderson back to the top of the lineup as they're still looking for their first base runner in this one. No doubt about that, Matt. They've yet to figure this guy out on the mound. He's looked great so far. He has, but we'll see if this second trip through the order changes anything. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments these hitters are able to make in the middle innings of this game. One and one to count. One and one, here it comes. Popped him up. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Ready to deliver the one and two. Struck him out. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old-fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Ball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. Fizzler is a guy that can really pick him up and put him down if you will. He's a plus runner and really uses speed to his advantage in multiple ways on the field. Yeah and it works for him. It works for him in a lot of ways like you said Matty. Hits the ball on the ground he has the potential to beat it out. I can't tell you what this does for an infield or an outfield defense to be put on their toes and have to make plays against this guy. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Now batting, Jose. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Jose Chavez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0 and 2. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. High and deep down the left field line, and that will end up a foul ball. The next 0-2. This is line to left, and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Can't start any better than this. He's set down the first 12. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The missions lead it four to nothing. Into the box, Neil Zeminski. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And a good effort as he's able to gather it in and make the play for the first out. Now batting, second baseman, Enrique. Digging in and looking for more, Enrique Encarnacion. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to first, will get him. Already two away here in the home fourth. The right fielder, number 30. Roger Ready once again, Roger Durango. First pitch coming, here it is. Fastball, hit on the ground is short. On to first, and they don't come any easier than that. A three-pitch inning, and the side is retired.
So here's the cleanup hitter, Richie Norris. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Digging in the switch hitter, Robbie Moeller. He flew out in his last at bat. A high fastball is in there. His pitch count is in a really good place at this point in the game. He's pounding the zone and getting first pitch outs just like he did on the last guy. We might see him work deep into this game if he keeps this up. It gets down, and that'll be extra bases on their first hit of the game. Moeller takes the turn at third. He wants it all. He scores as they get on the board. It's 4-1 to one now. The fans are not happy, and I can't blame them. And inside the parker on that hit, there's simply no excuse for that. And everyone in the ballpark knows it. We'll see if he can shake it off and get out of the top half of this inning. Standing in now, Thad Meyer. One ball, no strikes to count. One half, nobody on. 2-0 and oh now. And that catches the outside corner. It's 2-1. and one. That is a pro pitch right there. 2-0 curveball for a strike. You make those kind of pitches, you'll be around for a long time. Two balls and two strikes now. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. The 3-2 three pitch. There's ball four. Perfect. This is only their second base runner of the game after that earlier hit. Tough to score when you don't have anyone on base, so we'll see if they can get something going here. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Hey, that's got to throw the batter's game plan off a little bit. He thinks sinker's coming. Ball. Double play situation. He gets the ordinary fastball. He's got to be thinking what's coming next. Popped up. Venner is calling for it. Two down. Now Digging in. Jermaine Story. Jermaine First pitch of the Story. at bat on its way. Hey. Takes a high fastball for a strike. Meyer, the runner at first with two gone. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. There's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. Gone. So a two-run homer down the line in left as it's trimmed to a 4-3 game now. Yeah, I guess they lost their patience and just decided they were going to get back in this thing with two quick swings of the bat. Still down one, but they definitely have momentum on their side now. He's 0-for-1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Now for four innings, he was great. But here in the fifth, he looks like a completely different guy out there. That happens a lot with a pitcher. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. So two home runs in the inning lead to three runs on the scoreboard. Last half of the fifth coming up. San Antonio's out in front, four to three. Digging in once again, William Venner. First baseman, William Venner. Here comes the first pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Anderson loves it. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. Ready for another shot now. Kevin Alvarez. He singled his last time up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. That ball's headed for the gap in left center. He's got a base hit. Possibly more. Now at the plate, Henry Carnuth. He'll swing it from the left side right here. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. Grounded back up the middle. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. Now batter, center fielder, Adrian Prado. Ready to take his hats again. Adrian Prado, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. From the stretch. He pulls this one into right. Meyer is right there as he takes it for the second out. The left fielder, Stepping into the box, Booker, Booker Bernstein. Bernstein. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Back up the middle, and that is through into center field, a base hit. And a good throw will wind up holding that runner at third, so the bases become loaded now with two gone. Boy, this is a big inning for him. How about back to back to back singles? The bags are loaded, and he is in deep trouble. Yes, he is, no doubt about it. Nothing fires you up more than knocking the donut off your bat on the on deck circle and realizing all the swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And trouble it is, it's down for extra bases. One run scores. And they're not going to get him as he's in there to score. As a manager, you have to give your starter every opportunity to work his way out of trouble. But I think they went with him maybe one bat or two long. The bases loaded double blows this thing wide open, and the starter's probably on his last legs now. Into the box now, Neil Zeminski. He swings and runs it to short. And the throw is in time, and that will end the inning in style. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stop at short. The three of us are back after this message and a word from our local stations. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Garrett Anderson. He'll start the inning, and we're back to the top of the order, but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet, right, guys? Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything changes. Count even now at 1-1. 1-1. One one. So one one. Is looked at off the plate for a ball. The 2 1. There's a breaking nope, ball that's ball. taken for a ball. I can't tell you how big a pitch the last one was. The difference between 3 1 and 2 2. 2 2, you're probably taking a turn for the dugout. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Hit back up the middle. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. How about it? Joey Fizzler. Digging in now, Joey Fizzler. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. the outside it's one and two not a bad pitch right there on 0 and 2 a fastball and I think as a hitter right now you have to continue to go up there looking to hit off the fastball the one two is laid off for ball two here now the two two lifted down the line and left and that will end up a foul ball. That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in the wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Coming to the plate now, Jose Chavez. First pitch of the at-bat. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1 line towards center field and that's in for a base hit 
Make it a one for three games so far. So we'll go at least one at bat deeper into the top of the sixth after that two out success. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Richie Norris. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. That's what makes pitching so difficult. You get the first two guys out of the inning. Then you give up that two-out base hit. Now you have the middle part of the order coming up, and this is where you have to really refocus. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Frisco, number 10, Samuel Urban. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Enrique Encarnacion is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ground ball left side. Oh, what a dive. He gathers the throw in time. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. So coming to the plate, Roger Durango. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. center field and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon now batting. stepping into the box William, William Venner over two with a run batted in for him thus far he comes set here's the nothing and nothing pitch and a pitch out nothing doing though and that's ball one Down the third baseline. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Kevin Alvarez. Two hits in three at-bats for him in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. A swing and a ground ball to third to second for one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning around the horn they go five to four to three to end the threat on to the back third tonight stick around on the show back here for Texas League Baseball on the show seventh inning straight ahead but first let's take a look at the game summary for the first six innings of baseball Leading off the inning, Robbie Moeller, and they'll need him to get something going here. And he'll start the inning with a pitch that misses off the plate. It's ball one. Look out, 2-0 and oh now. He went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Stepping up now, Thad Meyer. Fastball in there for a called strike. Oh, one pitch on its way. And a breaking ball stays outside. Bases are empty, one man out. Fly ball heading for the alley. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. You take a look at this one as it flies into the gap. Both outfielders give it a chase, but they can't catch up to it. Next thing you know, it one hops the wall, and he's busting his hump around second on his way to third. Owen won the count. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. 
in to score easily is the runner from third and don't look now they've cut the lead down to two and he is in the second base with an RBI double now digging base. in Jermaine, Jermaine Story he comes Story. in one for two with that home run he hit earlier and he gets the call that time for strike number one Lemieux leads off second with one gun in the Three inning Hahn, he just ramps up and hears the fastball by him 0 and 2 hit hard to the right side but foul the next 0 2 is looked at for ball one that's a tough pitch to throw right there that front door curveball just missed hitting that inside corner that's a very difficult pitch I'm not sure if he wanted to get that one down and away and unfortunately that one stayed inside so he ran the fastball by him for the punch out Jermaine story goes down for out number two in the top half in now Ray Schultz as the first pitch here's a bit high it's ball one he's hitless in his two at bats so far now the 1 0 lifted out towards straightaway center field Prado is under it and he makes the catch for out number three so a run on two hits no errors and a man left on now to the bottom of inning number seven the missions lead it six to four at the plate Henry Carnuth he's two for three thus far third baseman Henry Carnuth ready to deliver here's the first pitch ground ball sent back up the middle to his left Schultz and quickly there's one down to lead off the frame so striding in Adrian Prado he's ready here's the first offering fly ball out toward left center field Moeller on the move he gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Now, that now with the plate, Booker Bernstein. Booker Bernstein. Here comes the first pitch. Ground ball right side. Story ranges to his left. Throw on to first. A three-pitch inning, and the side is retired. Nothing across here this half of the inning. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. San Antonio's out in front, six to four. So the lineup flips over and digging in Garrett Anderson. He'll start things out for us here in inning number eight. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. And he lays off for ball one. The one one is in there for the second strike one ball, two strikes, the one two now a change up is bounced to second go on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight now at the plate Joey Fizzler he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up Four one him up and he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out into the box now Jose Chavez only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one swing and a liner and a knock for him this time he's two for four for the game and he'll make it to second base now with two gone Wow, he almost blew that fastball by him, but he shows some quick hands to catch up to it and drive it down the opposite line. Didn't keep it fair by much, but he did, and that's a nice two-bagger. Richie Norris is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Lifted down the line in left, and that will end up a foul ball. Curveball that time, not even close. Boy, that's a great breaking ball right there. That's a tough pitch to lay off when that ball's coming. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. The three of us are back with more following this.
digging in and looking for more. Tristan Tierney. He drove in two with a double in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Liner toward right center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Around first. He's digging for second. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. And he'll get in there safely. That was not the way this pitcher envisioned the beginning of the game. Going for him wasn't that bad of a pitch. He jumps all over it. Nobody can run it down, and he's standing at third feeling pretty good about himself. Stepping in now, Neil Zeminski as he grounds one briskly to short. And they'll nail him at the plate as he's tagged out. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Enrique Encarnacion on the night. He's two for four with a pair of singles. First pitch of the at-bat. Hit out towards second. Reined in. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. Mark, Dan, and I are back with more after this. Striding in to start the ninth, Robbie Moeller, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Angel Dias comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Angel Dias. Here's the pitch. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Sliders in for a strike. The 1 1. It is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Fastball right over the outside corner. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Pitch popped up. Carnu is there. He's got it one away. How about right fielder? Brad Martin. Ready for another shot now. Thad Meyer. First pitch of the at-bat. Nope. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Now here it comes. Zero. Ball and a strike. The 1-1 one, one home. Is taken for strike two. All right, let's take a step back right here. He's down 1-2. Three fastballs in a row. There is no way he's throwing them for. Pop high in the air. Zeminski shading to his right, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now that's 
Ready for another chance. Lemieux. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. The wind-up and the 0-1. Taken called strike two. And now they're down to their final strike tonight. Not looking good after being down 0-2. I think at the very least, you got to work this pitcher's count a little bit. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, one of the keys to having a good record in baseball is to win some games at home. So this was a big win to win at home in front of their home crowd. A 6-4 to four finish in tonight's affair. San Antonio posted 15 total hits in the ball game. Kevin Alvarez pitches well enough to get the W. Roger Morales permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that's a wrap here tonight for Mark DeRosa, Dan Fleezak. This is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter at MLB The Show. So tonight's first game of this four-game set was... A six to four victory. Well, tomorrow we have a 11 a.m. game with the Frisco Rough Riders as we begin game two of this four game set. We continuously have the next two games after that. Following after the end of this four game series with Frisco, the visiting Corpus Christi Hooks will be in. Well, this would just be about do it for tonight. Final score, San Antonio Mission 6 and the Frisco Rough Riders 4. Well, before we go, let's go over runs, hits, and errors. First for Frisco Rough Riders, 4 runs on 6 hits, no errors. For San Antonio, 6 runs on 15 hits and no errors. So anyway, this would just about do it for tonight for the San Antonio Missions and the Frisco Rough Riders. We will be back tomorrow morning for game two of this four-game set. Well, everybody, have a good night. And I'll see you back tomorrow. <clears throat>